Hello Capricorn, welcome back to my channel everyone. Thank you for tuning in to your weekly tarot reading. We are going to be looking at the love energies for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and if you're dealing with a Cappy as well, um, this reading is going to be for you. So thank you everyone for liking, sharing, subscribing, and of course signing up to membership. Let's jump straight into the reading and see what's coming up for Capricorn. Okay, overall energy, let's try to channel that first, Cappies. Okay, overall energy we have for you is the Hermit. So strong Virgo energy that's coming up around you here. So straight away, I feel like there's something that's really provoking your thoughts. Okay, so we've, we've got something that's sort of putting you into an anxious mood or it's a reoccurring thought or pattern that's coming up around you with that Hermit energy. These thoughts are making you isolate potentially from your loved one, from your person. So you're potentially pushing them away, but maybe more subconsciously. So you're probably not aware of it, what's going on here with that hermit card. But I feel like you're a bit of a lone wolf here. You're trying to figure out things for yourself, Capricorn, without that other person present. So the energies are telling me you need to be alone right now where you are in this current energy the hermit is also communication so i feel like some sort of inner dialogue is going on here so i'm getting like you're you've got this voice in your head that keeps telling you something and it's trying to find the light um, in your situation so finding the light um, in a current situation you're trying to understand things um, the way they are so there's there's some things you're potentially trying to piece together I feel but let's see what else that hermit is doing um, this could be especially for the single uh, Capricorns Okay, I feel like things that are happening around you are destined, Cappy. But what's coming to mind is that the thoughts that you're thinking, it's like energetically someone is also mirroring these same thoughts. Because notice that page with the king, they both sort of look at this pentacle, right? They're both fixated on it. Um, so I feel like whatever's got you thinking or whoever's got you thinking it's almost like they're responding to you and channeling your energy and giving it back to you. So that's quite interesting that that has come up. I feel like you're connected by the sun. The sun is the self. So you're both, something about an inner dialogue is happening for the both of you, but it's almost like it's about the same thing. So I'm getting like a strong frequency or a strong energy both the same topic or issue or thought patterns appear to be around the both of you the infinity symbol is here so you are both connecting energetically um there's an energetic shift i feel for the both of you it could be with someone new the ace of the ace of cups i feel like this person loves you or it's a topic around like releasing yourself releasing yourself from trauma from pain releasing from any sort of heartache or obligation it's it's something to do with the release right the star card is is telling me it's about healing that needs to happen um it could be about the destiny thing it's aquarian energy aries and aquarius have come up here as well as the virgo um but i feel like there's some things going on that you sort of you chose not to see, I think, Cappy, or you chose to look at the bright side rather than wallow in the negativity. Um, and I think because of that now, you're still looking towards that light, but it's hard to keep positive in a tough situation, right? It's it's hard to stay positive, stay motivated, and, uh, stay motivated and stay seeing the upside of things when sometimes things aren't doing too well. So we've got this our inner self, our inner being, our inner consciousness. I feel like in this instance is talking to you, trying to carry you through this situation. It hasn't been easy, five of ones. I get that it's like a disruption. Um, but I feel like the sun coming out could indicate that you'll 
put it behind you. Okay, notice how the sun is in front of the tower. This is looking at things, especially the devastating things, looking at looking back at it through like the rearview mirror, right? So that I feel like you're gonna move past something um, that you need to move past where you find yourself. Um, so that's quite interesting. The Magician and Hermit, I get that you and someone else both want to be alone. You both need time away from each other. I don't think it's to say you don't love each other. I think it's just that you both need perspective because if you're both going through the same thing with that energetic connection, you both need or are in need of the same space, the same distance, the same time to be alone and with yourself. So I feel like that's probably something you'll hear from your person is that they want time alone, but take it, you know, don't be disgruntled about it. Take it as an opportunity for you to figure some things out on your own, because I feel like if you're able to both figure things out apart from each other, it's going to be easier when you reconnect, reconcile, you'll shine the light upon the issues you've had. Conversation will be smoother because you've had that time with the star to sort of reconnect with your um, energy and your thoughts yourself. So I feel like that's something that needs to happen um and will happen uh for the both of you and i think it's yeah it's it's, it's probably the best course of action right now Cappy. um eight of pentacles you're coming up as the page and the eight um so you know i feel like you there, there's something you know you need to work on or there's something that you know is is something to be fixed and you're you're, you're a problem solver by nature right Cappy? so you want to you want to address this, you want to tackle it, you want to, you want to move on from it. So I don't think you're rushing it, which is good, but I feel like it's got you both thinking, it's got you both in this kind of energy where you both want to work on it. And I, and to be honest, it looks promising from this angle with the Empress to see the changes. So there's something about change and growth that's happening. So whatever you're sort of shining the light on, it's very likely that that area or that thing or that problem or that person can grow. Um, and change into something that you're wanting to see, essentially. Um, quite an interesting one for you, um, Cappy, but I'll leave it there. Thank you again, everyone, so, so much for tuning in. It really does mean a lot. Um, and I do have to be in touch again very soon. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also to sign up for membership uh, to get access for bonus and extended reads, um, which will be uh, up on the members uh, version of the channel so um thank you again for tuning in um all the best cappy and until next time bye for now